mapping Enterprise PDM variables to SolidWorks custom properties. Within Enterprise PDM, we add controls to our data cards to then store values in the variables within e Enterprise PDM. It is most valuable to have these variables also mapped to custom properties within SolidWorks. Many times custom properties will populate dialog boxes or title blocks. Here we can see in this file custom properties exist such as description, check by, check date, number, and revision. Linking these to the notes is rather simple. Right click, edit sheet format, double click the note, and then in the properties dialog box left click on the link to property and then choose the property you wish to link to. Here check by will be selected and then we'll add check by date and finally we'll add the description here. I've added some default values just for the demonstration. Then I'll edit, exit, edit sheet format. Once I exit sheet format, just want to stress again, the file contains custom properties and there are some default values. However, when we want to go into production with this template, we want to remove those default values with creating a space for a null value, if you will. Now that we've got the custom properties mapped to the note, we can save this as a new sheet format through File, Save Sheet Format, or even save it as a new template using the Save As and choosing Drawing Template. In this case, what I'll do is simply save this as a new drawing into the vault. Here I'll choose my Enterprise PDM vault, and I'll just save it as Drawing 1. Now looking in the vault, We'll see drawing 1 exists, but there aren't really any values. And at this point in time, the values if entered in the data card will not map to the title block or the file itself. So what we'd like to do is go ahead and map that. To map those variables, we'd like to go ahead and edit the data card through the admin tool. So I'll access the drawing data card. Select in this case the description field. There it's already mapped to the description variable. But I'll click on the variables button. This allows me to add new attributes. The attributes, in this case, we can map to custom properties. Clicking new attribute, selecting custom property, and entering the specific custom property name that matches to the, my title block and my drawing files. Then I want to pick the file types that it should apply to. In this case, I could select all the file type for SOLIDWORKS, SOLIDWORKS Drawing, Part, and Assembly. In this case, for the time being, I'll just go ahead and select SOLIDWORKS Drawing and click OK. Let me do that one more time for the check by. Selecting that control, clicking on the Variables button, New Attribute at the bottom, selecting Custom Property as the type, check by is the attribute name, in this case custom property name. Make sure you match that specifically to your custom names. If there's a space, be sure to put the space in as well. Let me go ahead and select drawing once again. Click OK and I'll do it one more time for check date. Clicking variable and there you can see I've already got that one mapped actually so I'll click OK. One more I might want to check is the number variable. I'll go ahead and add that as well. Custom property number, and let me map that to actually all three, and I'll just remove that PRT and click OK. Once again, when we finish that, we'll go ahead and click OK and save. Minimizing this, I'll just come back into the data card and let's go ahead and add a new description and see if it is now mapped. Once I've entered the description here, and just for the sake of argument, I'll go ahead and select a check by. I'll enter a proper date. And then I'll save the variable values. So 
So let me go ahead and close. Let me go ahead and close the file. Coming back to the data card, I'll go ahead and click the Save button. One thing you might need to do is go ahead and select the drawing, and under Modify Update, write the file attributes from the database to the file itself. This will push the values that I've entered in the data card down to the file. We can double check this by clicking on the preview button if you wish. This will bring up the eDrawings previewer and you can also see the custom properties over here on the right side now filled in with number, description, check by, and check date. To verify this in the file I'll just drag and drop this to the SolidWorks screen. Minimize the browser window and you can see now the values have been filled in in the custom properties. And just to verify one more time, what we can do is change the date. Click OK. Save the document and close it. Coming back to the Enterprise dialog box and the data card itself, I'll click on the drawing and we should see those values have now been changed. Thank you very much for watching.